All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today, we are looking at a pretty interesting trap card. So I'm gonna get Sesame Street on your bitch ass. What letter is this? Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's just a big old E. I haven't seen a big old E on a card since like, what, E emergency call? Anyway, this is Booby. <laughs> Booby. Booby Trap E. Booby Trap E is a normal trap card that reads, just card one card. Tar uh, set one continuous trap card from your hand. Or graveyard, that set card can be activated this turn. <laughs> yes, people. Uh, and if you guys know me, and you guys should know me pretty well at this point, you guys know that I heart continuous trap cards. I mean, when it comes to continuous trap cards, I'm the one that plays them. Whether it be just fun, Daniel playing Bell, all right, I'm going to play them Call of the Hunters, them Oasis, them Limit Reverse, so I get to go ahead and reuse them. Or, I'm Dirty Dan who used to play Cleaves before they were dead, and I would floodgate the shit out of you with Vandy's and Skill Drain and uh, <laughs> lose one turn. And of course, if you guys don't know, my favorite trap card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, is a continuous trap card, Royal Decree. So I love this card, you know, more calls, more Oasis, more Limit Reverse, you know, what's what's worse than having to deal with Ebel three times because of three Limit Reverse? How about dealing with Ebel six times because of Booby Trap E? And of course, you build that this card that is fine because you know nine times out of ten if you guys have been joining me on the rhyme and why live stream shameless plug you know uh saturday 10 a.m pacific time shameless plug shameless plug you'll see that when i'm doing with my you decks i get i get unlucky sometimes man i'll be drawing that you bell i'll be drawing the card that i don't want to draw so screw it you know let me go ahead and play my booby trap e let me go ahead and discard that you bell and then set that limit reverse that i'm already gonna use to revive you bell so that's just great you know yeah, Vanities, yeah, Vanities is that one, originally so, but with Booby Trap E, I can just keep on reusing that Vanities, you know, just like Vanities. Oh, you got rid of my Vanities, well, at least I have to worry about it anymore, right? Oh, Booby Trap E, discard a card, and reset my Vanities, and of course, that said card can be activated this turn, so Vanities, like, wow, you know, you know it, Vanities is arguably one of the strongest trap cards in the game, and... With this, I'm able to use it three more times. You know, it's just like, yeah, Vanities used to be. Remember when Vanities Unlimited was at three? Yeah. Yeah, how about four? So, ridiculous, you know? Skill Drain, yeah. Deriringly so, you know, even before Cleese, Skill Drain was kind of that niche card that was played in a couple decks that were just going to be butts about it. Then Cleese started exploiting the shit out of it. Then it went down to one, and, you know, with only one scout and all my floodgates gone, Cleese can't do shit. So, this is what possibly one way. I mean, generally, Cleese don't like to discard, so that's where this card's kind of like meh. Because, of course, it is a neg two. You know what I mean? It's a neg one. Because you gotta discard, then play this card, and it'll get you this continuous trap card. So it's a neg one. But you get more continuous trap cards, you know? Just like, you destroyed my Royal Decree? No, more Royal Decree. <laughs> you know, I'm already playing three lose one turn. Let me go ahead and play six lose one turn. You know, I'm already playing Triple Call of Haunted and Triple Oasis and Triple Limit Reverse. Let me go ahead and play more, more, more continuous trap cards. <laughs> so, I definitely like this card. Like I said, it's a neg one, of course, but getting your continuous trap cards, like we know, just get your floodgates, get your revival, get your Royal Decree, get them all back. You know. And it's interesting, interesting that it says hand, you know. Well, I generally would go ahead and go neg, but at least it makes this card viable earlier in the game than it would be, just because, uh, you know, like, straight up early game, I doubt you would have a continuous trap card ready, you know, for example, if I opened up, you know, this limit reverse in Ubel, you know, I don't have a continuous trap card in my graveyard yet, but I can set for my hand, so I can just go ahead and play the booby trap, you discard the Ubel, and then set for the reverse, but, so that makes it a little bit less dead, you know, as long as you have the continuous trap card ready, either in your hand or your graveyard, you know, booby trap is ready to go, and... <laughs> That is no shame in this card's game. I definitely like that. So, overall, I think this card's pretty interesting. I don't think I'm going to try playing Cleese like that anymore, just because Cleese aren't uh, generally a deck of this card, and it seems like other decks can do floodgating better. But, uh, you know, that's just the only thing you can do. Just get your floodgates back. More the reverse, more skill drain, more lose on turn. Like, that's totally what we need in this game. You know, more uh, uh, Imperial Iron Wall, just more... Floodgates is totally what we need. <laughs> so tell me what you guys think about Booby Trap E. I, said, I think it's a fun card, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll try the Ubel deck. It really depends on the case to see, but I think I have enough revival. You know, maybe in like a Ubel deck that doesn't do the whole Doom Shaman thing. You know, probably not Super Vice, maybe in a different Ubel deck, but I don't know. It's interesting. I might try it out. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Tell me what you guys think of Booby Trap E in the comment section below. So thanks for watching. 
oh my god thanks for watching thanks for all the support and i will see you guys on wednesday with another card to look at all right people thanks for watching